Hello, my favorite student, and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel English with Speaker You. My name is Tanya, and today we are going to learn 10 idioms that you can use in everyday life. You can use in everyday situations. Not only we are going to learn their meanings and see the examples, but also we are going to practice them in speaking. We are going to role play dialogues. Are you excited? Because I am. <laughs> so the plan of the lesson is the following. We are going to talk about five idioms, learn their meanings, see the examples, and then make a dialogue with five idioms. Then we are going to go to the second set we're going to talk about five idioms, look at the meanings and examples, and then again, practice them in a dialogue. And of course, as usual, if you want to practice more, go to the description box, click on the link and get a free PDF worksheet with all the information from today's lesson and more exercises to practice. Let's bring your English to the next level. So the first idiom is kill two birds with one stone. Kill two birds with one stone. To kill two birds with one stone means to achieve two goals or to complete two tasks with one single action or effort. So it's basically like in this picture, you throw one stone, that's a single action, and you kill two birds, like two tasks. For example, I usually do the shopping and take my dogs for a walk at the same time. Wow, killing two birds with one stone. Smart. Next one and through thick and thin. Through thick and thin. I like this idiom because you can also practice this terribly difficult sound th through thick and thin. <laughs> so, if you stay with a person through thick and thin, that means that you support this person even if there are problems or difficulties. For example, Oh, Mary, will you support me through thick and thin, my darling? <laughs> Sorry, I'm re-watching Downton Abbey. So the example is taken from there. <laughs> Next one and see eye to eye. See eye to eye. And if two people see eye to eye, they agree with each other. For example, how are you getting on with a new manager? Well, we don't often see eye to eye, but he's a nice guy. Number four and cut some slack. Cut some slack. And that means not to judge someone as you usually would because they, someone, are having problems at the moment. For example, when I started teaching, my colleagues cut me some slack because I was so new to this world of teaching. Right. So number five and with flying colors with flying colors and if you do something with flying colors you do it successfully for example you've been studying for this exam so hard i'm sure you will pass with flying colors now it's time for us to practice these five idioms in a dialogue i'm blue you are green oh hey long time no see how have you been Feel you. I had the same struggles. By the way, how did you do in your exams? Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could do that too. Wait, but that means that in the end, Mark and you saw eye to eye on the project, right? Oh, teamwork can be challenging, but you did it with flying colors. Not really. Just catching up on some sleep, maybe doing some shopping. Need to cut loose for a bit. Will do. Let's catch up soon, all right? Now, I just want to take a moment and thank all of you for supporting me for following me, for liking the videos, sharing them with your friends, for doing all the exercises with me. And there is one more way to support me. It is to go to Ko-fi 
and buy me a coffee. I will leave the link here in the description box. And if you feel like buying me a coffee, you can do so. You can do it for as little or as much as you wish. I appreciate every way you support me. Thank you so much. Now moving on to the next five idioms. That's our idiom number six. And have your feet on the ground. Have your feet on the ground. Have your feet on the ground means to be able to take care of yourself and to be practical. For example, Jimmy was never known as a person who has his feet on the ground. He would always get into some trouble. Next one and get something off your chest. Get something off your chest. That means to tell somebody about something that has been worrying you or that you've been feeling guilty about for quite a while. For example, Jody, you need to tell him the truth and finally get it off your chest. This secret does nothing good to both of you. Number eight, and you can say that again. You can say that again. And you usually use this phrase when you agree with what someone has just said. For example, Ah, I think he'll be an excellent dad. You can say that again. Number nine and on and off. On and off. Yeah, when we say it, we kind of lose d sound. On and off. On and off. If something happens on and off, it happens sometimes. <laughs> for example, they've been on and off in relationship for the past year. And the last one, number 10, a bitter pill. A bitter pill. You may also add to swallow. A bitter pill to swallow. A bitter pill to swallow. A bitter pill is something that is unpleasant, but it must be accepted. You know, it's like when you feel ill and the doctor gives you a pill that is bitter. So you still need to take it because you know that it will make you feel better. So, you don't have any other choice, you take it, you accept it. Jessie was so confident in her exam results, but she failed. It was a bit a pill to swallow. And now, it's high time for our second dialect to practice these five idioms. You know the drill? I'm blue, you're green. Hey, what's going on? Oh no, that's rough. Technology can be a real headache. That's annoying. You should talk to her about it. Well, it's been on and off. I've had a couple of interviews, but no luck yet. Thanks. By the way, do you have any plans for the weekend? Sounds good. Simple things can always lift the spirits. Oh, and that's it. Our lesson is over, actually. I hope that you did enjoy these 10 everyday idioms and that you loved the practice because I did. Thank you for being my speaking partner. Don't forget to go to the description box, click on the link and get your free PDF worksheet with all the information from today's lesson and more vocabulary, more exercises to practice. Thank you for being here with me today. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!